What's good, guys? Last week, I brought to the channel the story of Christine Englehart, who was from Pennsylvania, but who was on South Beach for spring break. And she was drugged, raped, and left for dead in a hotel room. And this is just a brief update to that story. Spring breaker drugged, raped, and left for dead warned of dangerous world. The Pennsylvania woman who was drugged, raped, and found dead in a Miami Beach hotel room over spring break once warned about the dangers of predators in a chilling online post in which she cautioned others, quote, always go with your gut, end quote. Christine Englehart, 24, of Richboro, made the plea nearly two years before her body was found last week at the, I think it's pronounced, Albion Hotel in South Beach. Could be wrong. Quote, this is a dangerous world now, unfortunately, and you never know what anyone's true intentions are, end quote. She wrote on Facebook in July of 2019. In the post, Englehart described an unsettling encounter on a run that prompted her to flag down park workers about a suspicious vehicle. Quote, so if you ever feel unsafe in any way or have a feeling something isn't right, don't hesitate to notify the police, she wrote. Always go with your gut. Please be on alert for any suspicious people or cars, end quote. That is a picture of Christine Englehart, different than the one I showed in the other video. Two North Carolina men, Evor Collier, 21, and Dorian Taylor, 24, have been accused of drugging Englehart with a green pill before raping her and stealing her credit cards. Police say surveillance footage captured Evor and Taylor with Englehart at her hotel. She was later found dead and semi-nude in the hotel room on Thursday, police said. Now, this is a picture of Collier and Taylor. If I can get it to hold still. This article, for whatever reason, is jumping all over the place. Police have not released the cause of death, though they're investigating whether the pills supplied to her, which authorities suspect was a narcotic Percocet, caused her to overdose. Hmm. Now that's different from what um, they initially thought. They initially thought that it was a roofie. So, a green Percocet. Hmm. That's a new one on me. This is her actual Facebook post. Now, the post reads, Public service announcement to anyone that goes to Tyler State Park. Last week, I was running past the Tyler Arts Center building and saw in the parking lot a car with a white t-shirt hanging out the driver's side window. As I was running past him, the car started beeping at me and the driver waved his hand out the window. I assumed he was broken down and needed help, but my gut feeling was telling me something wasn't right. So I kept running and didn't stop. Today, around 1 p.m., I ran past the same area, and there was the same car with the same t-shirt hanging out. My heart started racing. As I ran past him, he beeped again and waved for my attention. I immediately knew that this was some kind of predator scheme. I waited until I wasn't in his sight to, call, to stop and call 911. Luckily, park workers were driving by, and I stopped them and told them to get the park ranger to investigate for this was now the second time the same man was doing this. They dispatched the ranger immediately and thanked me for alerting them. So if you ever feel unsafe in any way or have a feeling something isn't right, don't hesitate to notify the police. Always go with your gut. Please be on alert for any suspicious people or cars. This is a dangerous world now, unfortunately, and you never know what anyone's true intentions are. True words have not been spoken. Now, as far as the green pill contributing to her death, I don't know what she had taken previous to that. I'll be interested to see what the autopsy results say because um, one Percocet, eh, that's a reach. So I'll be interested to see what, um, what the police or the medical examiner's office or whoever releases the information, I'll be interested to see what is contained in that report. And I will update the story once I find that out.
Thanks for watching, guys.